Welcome to the Patient Portal Training Series. In this video, we will cover registering for your Patient Portal account, navigating the portal, authorizing other users to access your account, setting preferences, and logging out. When your provider invites you to the Patient Portal, you will receive an email containing a registration link. Click this link and set for yourself a username and password. Once these are established, you will be asked to log in with your new credentials. If you type your password incorrectly, you'll see a notice in red text indicating the credentials are incorrect. Try again, then click to sign in. Upon first login, you'll be asked to review the portal terms and conditions. Click the checkbox to accept these terms, then click to proceed to the portal. Once logged in, you'll have access to your profile, including current information and patient history, forms made available to you by your provider or office staff, you may authorize additional users to log into your portal account with their own credentials, view upcoming appointments, currently prescribed medications, medical record history, and any messages sent between you and your provider or office staff. Click your name in the top right corner of the portal to access personal settings. To return to the main screen of the portal, click the practice or provider name at the top left corner of the screen. To give access to your portal account to others, navigate to Authorized Users and click to send a new invitation. Enter the recipient's email address and set permissions for which content you'd like for them to be able to read and or write. Then click to send invitation. You'll see notifications popping up in the bottom corners of your screen whenever you make changes or send invitations. Click permissions to change what access the invited user will have when viewing your portal account. If you change your mind, you can click to cancel invitation or later revoke access if the third party has already registered. The invited user will receive an email with a registration link to set up their own username and password to access your portal information. Once logged in, they'll have access to all areas which you've designated in their permissions. To log out of the portal, click your name at the top right corner and then click Log Out. You'll be returned to the main login page of the portal. This concludes the Patient Portal Training Series Part 1. Please continue to Part 2.